brain is made up of a network of cells called neurons. These neurons extend processes that form connections with each other. In this way, messages are passed to and from neurons to send information around the brain into the rest of the body. Signaling molecules called neurotransmitters are used to carry these messages. One of the most important neurotransmitters in the brain is noradrenaline. Noradrenaline has long been implicated in depression, a common mood disorder characterized by a persistent feeling of sadness. Symptoms are wide-ranging but often include loss of motivation and self-esteem and the inability to experience pleasure. Depression can affect people of all walks of life and at any one time in Ireland over 450,000 people experience the condition. Current antidepressant treatments aim to fix an imbalance in chemical messages in the brain, noradrenaline being one of these. However, because of the delayed onset of action of these drugs, research has moved to looking at other changes that occur in the brain, such as loss of neuronal connections and inflammation. Depression is increasingly being linked to inflammation. Depressed patients have been shown to have increased production of markers of inflammation called cytokines. These cytokines have the potential to cause lasting damage to neurons. An important feature of noradrenaline is its ability to inhibit inflammation in the brain, mainly through the reduction in inflammatory molecules like cytokines and the production of protective factors. For my PhD project, I want to look at this anti-inflammatory role of noradrenaline and its ability to provide protection for neurons in damaging conditions. My lab work is based on cell culture. This involves the growth of neuronal cells under controlled conditions allowing us to examine the cells and what happens to them under different circumstances. It allows us to treat neurons with different cytokines and show that these inflammatory conditions cause the neurons to shrink and reduce their connections, but the addition of noradrenaline provides protection for the neurons. The cytokines are prevented from causing their damage, the neurons remain connected and the brain is healthier. My project will look into this process in more detail and figure out exactly how noradrenaline is protecting the neurons. This research will hopefully lead to the use of noradrenergic drugs in the treatment of inflammation and neuronal damage, as well as highlighting the potential target of inflammation in the treatment of depression. <laughs>